So I made my way back into the US, passing through Seattle. There's the Space Needle. But instead of going there today, I am going here. It is the Museum of Pop Culture. And I think it actually has two different uh, sections. One is sci-fi and horror and, and famous memorabilia and things from movies like uh, costumes and masks, all kinds of crazy stuff in here. And the other section is guitars and musical history, Nirvana, Pearl Jam, things like that. So I'm going to get inside. I'm going to show you both places. And this is going to be interesting. You're going to like this. So this is where I'm going. Look at this. Terminator. The Terminator. Look at this various stuff from the Terminator and Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Amazing how real, well, I should say amazing how fake it looks now, but you know, it looks much more realistic in the movie. And it's the famous leather jacket. This is the T-1000 hand. From Star Wars. This is from A New Hope, 1977. Here we go, a proton pack from Ghostbusters 2. And this is a trap, ghost trap from the original, 1984. It's amazing to be able to get close to these and really see what they look like. They look very realistic. foot pedal you can stomp down not sure what this says hmm. look at this the outfits from uh, the fifth element Corbin Dallas's gun. Huh. Probably the coolest thing that I've seen so far is right here, the hoverboards from Back to the Future. This was uh, Griff Tannen's Pitbull hoverboard. Amazing, that is so cool. The 
they have this little screen here and you can go through and see where each gun is from but it's kind of time consuming so and there's three three of these big cases so you have to kind of go through these <laughs> So this is the first Tron, the outfit from the first Tron. Elbow pads and crazy pair of boots. So this is from the Matrix. This is uh, Neo's fake, fake body. That is really creepy looking. <laughs> so this is the teddy bear, the animatronic teddy doll from AI. Mildly creepy. And if you enjoy horror films, they have an entire section just for that. This one looks to be signed by Robert England himself. Freddy Krueger. I hope the lights aren't screwing this thing up. So they have some pet cemetery stuff here. Look at this. This is Judd Crandall's fake foot or fake leg. When Gage cuts his Achilles tendon. Look at this, it looks just like him. Amazing. Pet Cemetery is by far one of my favorite horror movies. If you have not seen my filming locations video, you should definitely check that out. I visit all the locations to that movie. Here we go, this is the axe to The Shining. Look at that. This is the special effects switchboard from Frankenstein. Here we go. The complete outfit. Friday the 13th, Jason Voorhees. There we go. This thing. I'm alien. You may recognize all these heads from The Walking Dead. This was in the governor's office. <laughs> Severed heads from 2012. Yeah, the governor's fish tanks. How funny is that? Thank you.
Hmm. Wow, the actual outfit. Dress worn by Judy Garland as Dorothy Gale, 1939, The Wizard of Oz. Look at that, the actual hat worn by Margaret Hamilton. The Wicked Witch of the West. Cowardly Lion costume from The Wizard of Oz, 1939. That's amazing. And this is from The Witch's Guards. Beautiful, beautiful design. It's really hard to see, but this is from one of my favorite movies, The Princess Bride. Wesley wore this outfit. Again, from one of my favorite movies, The Princess Bride. These three outfits are from Harry Potter. This one on the right was a prison jacket worn by Sirius Black. And the robe in the middle was worn by Dumbledore. This one was a student uniform, it says, from Goblet of Fire, 2005. When you come into the music area, the main gallery is this gigantic, looks like a guitar tornado here. says this sculpture is composed of nearly 700 instruments. That is amazing. This is the entrance to the Nirvana gallery. Over a period of time, they could do the same thing. So we just go around this 
a lot of Austin, Texas, and New York. It's where people go to. And this is the Pearl Jam exhibit. So let's see what this thing has to offer. So that's it for the Pop Culture Museum. Made it out there. Gonna go get some food, get back on the road, and continue going south. This place is amazing. Hope you liked it. See you in the next video.